Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. This little guy's working out okay. He's not making much money, but the point was to get these goods over here, not necessarily to make money on this train. Um, and that's that's what it's doing. It is, it is at least breaking even. Let's see, actually, let's, well, this is the only thing on here. You can see it's breaking even. Uh, it's getting enough to go to go around for that, but uh, once we can actually lengthen it, and I, I realize that by doing things the way I did here, we'll be able to lengthen this station that direction, and we can lengthen this station this direction by removing this. So, so we should be able to lengthen it later on, and that should increase its income. But for now, it's working good. Uh, enough ships are showing up with goods to keep it moving. I kept just four wagons on the old uh, 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 Hemsworth City deliveries route, and uh, I've increased the number of wagons on this route again. It's up to 14 now, and I think it is now finally keeping up with all the drop-offs. Um, we are in the 1890s now. We do have uh, some... Um, uh, uh, steam vehicles, steam-powered uh, ground uh, uh, road vehicles uh, available. Uh, I wouldn't mind upgrading everything, but I don't think we have the money for it right now. One thing, I think this this right here is our big money maker. This is one of our two big money makers, and it really looks like we could use another train on here or uh, ship on here. Even though we've got six right now, uh, I'm going to add two. There we go. It was. What, a million dollars or something right there? So hopefully we can keep that moving. Uh, the other one that's making us lots of money right now is this train. This train is just killing it. Look at that. 1.5 million in uh, uh, revenue uh, with a total of about 1 million in profits. So, yeah. Uh, and this still could haul more, more food out of here. We're only hauling... Uh, about two-thirds of it, it looks like. Um, let's take a look at this. How long is this? And how long is our... I think this is 160 meter... 1, 2, 3, 4... Yeah, 160 meter uh, um, platforms. And how long is the train right now? 149 meters. They can figure it out. We could add two more... One more car without going over the length of the platform two more cars would be like one meter over which would still probably be okay i don't think that would be a problem um we don't have to stick within the platform length it's just a matter of whether or not we can you know turn around and do all that other stuff we need to do so let's go ahead and add two more here 163 okay three meters over there i was a little late we didn't get to use those two but it's going um, but this, the last time I looked, was ready to upgrade. Well, oh, and it looks like it's backed back off from me. It was getting ready to upgrade, I thought, to the third level. But now it does not look like it's there. We're producing more than we're shipping, so I guess that's as good as we're going to get for right now. That would make me think that what we need more than anything is more demand. So these guys, I think, are shipping everything they're making. I think we could afford to put another ship on here. I took one off before, but we'll add one more in. And then let's go ahead and upgrade these vehicles here. Hopefully that will, let's see, right now we're hauling, you know, 5, 20 kilometers. This will make it a little bit faster. So we'll still get more hauled. All right. So this has been upgraded to steam-driven trucks. Which sound like gasoline trucks for some reason. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, it happens. And, of course, you spent all the growler's money again. Well, yeah, we did. But if we can get a little bit more going here, that'd be great. I don't think we're going to be able to get any more trucks going, though. 
I mean, really, there is basically a, a truck sitting here constantly now. I think if we add any more, it's probably, they're probably just going to end up backed up here. So our only hope with that is either to find a better way to move this stuff, which the only choice would be a train, and I have no idea how we'd get a train uh, to do that route. Um, and this seems like an awfully short route to try to do a train on anyways. Um, so it'd either be that, or it would be um, waiting for the trucks to get more advanced. But we do actually have, I found the other quarry. We have this quarry over here. And we could up our demand for goods by connecting another city. Because if we connected this, then we might actually even get uh, some more wood going, coming over here to the tool, this tool factory. And then we'd be shipping out from here, we'd be shipping stone out of here as well. Um, the only other thing I think we could do would be to set up uh, fuel. Which would be setting up a train line. I think I could put a station in here and then run a train all the way down to here and then put a dock right, like right down at this end. So they could come in, drop off the crude, although running it right here in the middle would actually make a bit more sense. Might be able to reach all, all the city, or all the, all the plants if I did that. Um, but at any rate, yeah, actually that would make more sense. Just drop it off up here and try to reach, try to reach these. And then we could shuffle stuff between the docks and there. But then, in order to be useful, that would have to be shipped over here and handled here, too. And we just don't have the money right now. Even though our money is already regenerated. <laughs> we don't have the money for that right now. Um, well, we can't do anything here because of food. I think we could probably get away with running some more wood. That's going to pick up the demand on this train. Let's go ahead and let's add another ship onto this route. Okay, and we'll see how that goes. Probably going to need to upgrade this train and add some more uh, add some more flatbed cars to it. All right, I think it's time we did something about these wagons here in Capital City. As you can see, they're not looking real good. They have tail lights. That's interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. These horse-drawn wagons have tail lights, and I suppose technically they have headlights too. Uh, obviously those are just oil lamps, but what are these? These look electric. But certainly they don't have electric tail lights on these things. I'm confused. Uh, anyways, it's probably time we got those replaced. We have earned some money. Everything seems to be going fairly well altogether. Let's go ahead and and upgrade all of these. That's not too bad, money-wise. And we'll go ahead and upgrade the Hemsworth ones, too. Not going to worry about uh, anything over in uh, Stockton right now. Um, just because... You know, everything seems to be going okay. We, we uh, well, we were having trouble with stuff backing up here, but it seems to be okay right now. And it looks like we've gotten this under control finally, where it's not constantly backed up on this dock. So let's go ahead. I think, and we sh I think we should go ahead and work on upgrading that, that little shunter line. Let's get some more profit going on. Uh, we're going to have to wait till the train gets on the bridge, I think. At some point, this bridge is going to have to be replaced, but not right now. I think I'm going to try to do the same thing. Because there is a hill. It goes downhill and then up over the curve of the bridge. So if I could just run it straight across and then just have a hill on this side, then it would be great. And I let it go too far. Actually, this one doesn't matter because I could build off the back, but we'll let it. We'll let it go. That's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete some of this track here. Okay. 
and then no I don't know how I always manage to miss uh track Let's see so that's 80 120 160 it looks like that's about as big as I'm gonna make this one it's 160 platform there and there and now we can just reconnect it. Okay. And then over on this side, we can get rid of this. And just do the same thing. Then we just need to run this track over to the side to connect our shed. I'm still not entirely sure what this thing is for. It looks like it's supposed to attach to the side of a track. I'll be darned if I know how. Track layout. Oh, it has tracks built into it. So what does this do? Just control traffic? I like the red one. Line terrain. I don't know. I'm very uh, curious about that. Uh, all right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and do something with this train now. I think what we really just need to do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight cars. We'll just add more of those. Let's just put all these up front. Actually, it's easier to do it this way. There. And while we're at it, this road is driving me up the wall. Let's fix it. What was wrong with that road? It was driving me crazy, Growler, because it was that weird, wonky angle. You're spending Growler's money to spend money now. I'm spending your money to make it look nicer. Okay. Oh, there. There. There we go. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. And definitely seems to be helping out having more stuff hauling there. We got now that we got more wood coming in. Where is my wood? Here it is. Fed two ships on here for a couple of years now, and we're not making a dent in that wood. <laughs> what are these sawmills doing? One is doing a little bit like this. Yeah, we're not shipping very much. Looks like we're shipping about 60 out of the 300 we could be shipping. All right, so let's go here and let's just double these boats for now. All right, well, now that we've made some money, I think we might as well go ahead and do something here. So let's see here. Terminal. that actually reaches all of them. Nice. Alright, so that goes right there. 
Uh, we got some new boxcars, it looks like. And then up here, I think we're going to have to do some major rearranging. So let's go ahead and take this out all together. And I think we want to put a road down across here. Don't think that's how I want. Don't think that's how I want it either. Darn it. I wanted it just the right angle so that it'll do what I want it to do. There we go. And then we can go ahead and just curvy this guy on down to here. So that will be hooked up. Uh, I don't know how. Right now it's hooked up going that direction. Uh, I'm feeling we're going to want to hook it back up going this direction. Maybe I'll replace this connection up here with one down here and run it across. Well, let's go ahead and put a train station right here. Nope. Wrong thing. There we go. That's the button I wanted. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, it reaches those three if I go there. Okay, so we got those three. What if I... We're on a road from here. So run from there to there. And then run one from uh actually here. Let's do this. Not the flattening tool again. Which got you in trouble last time. I know. I know what I'm doing, Growler. Just just tush. for knowing what you're doing. I just needed to hit a button, Growler. That was all. Just chill out. See? It's it's all set. All done. We got the station there. We just need to put a track now. And I think, yeah, that reaches all four oil wells. So, pretty much, this is going to be all set for the future. Uh, we'll want to expand the track eventually and put more than one train on here. But for now, this is all we need. And now we will... Really? Really? You're going to give me grief? about? I know I've, I've made this before, because I tested it out first. Okay, I think this will work. That looks good. Looks awful. It's good enough, Growler. Good enough for spending Growler's money. Would you hush about your money? <laughs> what is with you? It's just nothing but complain, complain, complain anymore. When are we going to go back to Conan? Oh, you want to play Conan, huh? Well, I have been looking at uh, a couple of map mods. One is just a modification for uh, the Exiled Lands. The other one is that whole new map I think Core has brought up several times. I was considering maybe doing that. Just the, the, the last time we played left such a bad taste in my mouth. You weren't supposed to be eating the sand. No, I wasn't eating the sand, Growler. That's not what I mean. <clears throat> you take me too literally. Wow, 
Okay. Uh... <laughs> really? I can't come off the back side of that at all. All right. Well, whatever. Let's just put our shed out here then. Uh, okay, we're going to have to do a little, oh, no, a little flattening. There you go again. Look at all that. Could you think of a better way to do this and have it actually place where it's supposed to? No, you can't, so hush. Now we can just smooth this out. Beautiful. Okay, part one is done. Let's go ahead and set up a route for it. And this will be Stathily. oil fields. Uh, wait. Not oil fields, oil freight. There we go. Crude oil freight. And I think let's just put the biggest train we can on there. It's tall and nothing but oil. Uh, nope. I want this. There we go. I don't know about that one. That's the most powerful one we've got. This isn't a long trip. Uh, let's use this one. Use this. What's the difference between these oil cars and the five and eighty miles an hour? Five and fifty miles an hour. Well, heck, let's just see. It'll go faster. Now we'll run this out to 157 meters. That's exactly 20. 20 cars, I mean. That's a pretty wimpy sounding whistle. <laughs> it did sound like it's having a little trouble, didn't it? <laughs> All right, uh, before we go anywhere, though, I am going to set this to wait until full. Okay. And this should be the oil fields. Okay, super. All right, now we're going to need to put in... So, what is on this block here? Some commercial. Hmm. Can I put this over here, maybe? works and it gets everything actually reaches everybody <laughs> no matter what I do all right and then we'll put one let's lengthen the street first off bring it all the way down here okay and then we'll put another truck stop right here And then right across the street from it, we can go ahead and put our docks. Perfect. Except, actually, that was a mistake. Boom. Well, 
I should have built a large one. Oh, I see. I was editing the wrong thing. I had the wrong thing open. I'm sitting there wondering why on earth it came out like that. Okay, there we go. Large dock. Okay, and then we'll put one down here. It looks like we have just one place for this guy. Actually, he doesn't really even fit there. Let's... Take that out. Oh. Would you stop building right where I'm trying to do something? There we go. Right there. And let's see, then let's put another one up here. How about right across the street from this? Would that work? Really can't see whether or not this is fitting in here properly. Okay, that costs us a bit of money, but... No, oh, I want this. There we go. That reaches all three plants. Alright, so... Let's put in a truck depot. We'll put it right over here. And then we'll create a little route from here. Come on. From here to here. And this will be Sherborn. Is that what that says? Sherborn uh, City Deliveries. Super. Then we need a route going from here to here and this would be Stavenly River Barge and then one from here to here I think we're going to need another dock on here and this will be the uh, Sherborne River Barge are going and we'll put just two trucks for right now on the Sherborne City deliveries okay so that will get that primed and started and we we're still above uh, up we're, we've made money more money than we've spent since they started doing this and uh, probably had it running at high speed. That's why. What is 1898 now? So we're almost done with the uh, 19th century. Um, one more thing before we go. Since this dock is free, let's pause this. Let's delete this. And then we will go ahead and... Come on. There. There. Oh. Nope, I didn't finish that. Okay. And we will put Sherborne on two. Yeah. Because uh, the wood barge is just dropping off, so I don't have to worry about anything going back on that route. 
So cool. Got our crane going there. A lot of wood coming back. That's good. Lots of stuff waiting to go there. Lots of stuff going into town again. Oh my goodness. Did we upgraded the trucks. Holy moly. Do I need to add more trucks again? I really don't want to, but it looks like I need to. Oh my goodness. Um... All right, 20 trucks on here now. Oops. Hopefully that will do it. Because we are done for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.